Hi friends, today we're going to make these snowflakes that you got in your kit. You received one of these plates and some yarn for you to make your own snowflake. You'll notice that your yarn has a stiff edge on it. The tip that's the stiff one is supposed to be like a needle. And you'll notice on one side of the plate I drew a snowflake and the other side has holes. The drawing side is just a guide for you to show the lines that you need to follow on the opposite side. You don't want to see the lines on the side of your snowflake that you're going to display. Do your best to follow those lines. This video is sped way up. So this actually took me about 30 minutes to sew my snowflake. It might take you a couple days to make your snowflake. If you get frustrated, stop making your snowflake and come back to it. Remember, you can always start over by pulling your yarn out of your out of the holes and start over. The other thing I wanted to point out is some of the holes aren't completely popped through. You might need to go through and poke out some of those holes and tear those little pieces off. I did that in the beginning, but it went so fast you could hardly see it. If your snowflake doesn't turn out perfect, that's okay. Your family will love it no matter what, as long as you try your best. You can keep watching the rest of the video just to see how I went through and made my snowflake. You'll notice that the top is where I really put my energy trying to make it look like a snowflake, but the bottom is a little bit messy. You probably have more yarn than you'll need. So the leftover yarn can be what, you can do whatever you want with that leftover yarn and just do some crafting. So you can see right here, I pulled my yarn out because I put it through the wrong hole and started back over. Have fun with this. And like I said, if you get frustrated, take a break. I can't wait to see how your snowflake turns out.